Hi everybody, welcome to Big Ugly World. Big Ugly World. No, not just welcome to Big Ugly World, welcome to Happy Birthday for John! My birthday! Yay! Yay. Yay. Happy birthday to me! No, right, right. Um, I am 57. You are 57? You should get a bottle of irons out for it. I'm 57. I'm 57. Yeah, you're 57. Am I? You are. Yes, I'm yeah, I did I'm, get it you got wrong once and I was wrong, wrong age for a whole year. Yeah. yeah. And then you got another year, which and is about this year. year. <laughs> I know, it was great. Um, so, we have found this recipe for a rice pudding. Yeah, we love rice pudding. Love rice pudding. <laughs> I'm out of rice, actually, I've had a rice pudding for a long we've time. I've had rice pudding for ages. No, we've not done this one. This is a Danish or a Scandinavian rice pudding. Yeah. It sounds fab because it's got a cherry sauce and what's not to love about cherry well, sauce? Well, I mean, talking of sound, how do we pronounce this? It looks like Rizillamond. Right. But it's not. No. It's Rizillamond. Rizillamond. Yeah, because I, because I looked up the um, one of these companies that gives you how to pronounce things. Right. In Danish. Rizillamond. Rizillamond. There you go. Well, do it in female, look. Hit button. Rizillamond. Rizillamon. There you go. So it's Rizillamon. Um, it's there's three rice, steps yes. to it. From what well, I can yeah, see. there is. There's three steps. It's, it's actually quite a simple rice Thing. pudding, really. Um, it's derived from the French, meaning rice and almonds. Okay. It's rice with almonds. Yeah. Uh, it's a rice pudding served with um, almonds a bit later. It's also got a cherry sauce, maybe yeah. it's in the cherry, is that right? Absolutely. But it's going to be good. The interesting thing about it is it's eaten cold. Yeah, the, the whole point about this is you make the rice now, you chill it for at least two hours, but preferably overnight. Yeah. We'll just do it for about four hours because we're going to have this tonight. Yeah. Uh, and then we make the, you make the sauce and you kind of yeah. mix it together. So the cherry sauce is warm, yeah. but the rice pudding is cold, and then you add like almonds and whipped, whipped cream, cream on top and stuff to it. Yeah. So it sounds really luxurious. Yeah, traditionally it's supposed to be made on my birthday, December yeah. 23rd. Just checking out if anyone wants to you know, find out all my details. There you go. Um, but it's eaten on New Year's, sorry, Christmas, Christmas Eve, Eve with their meal Christmas Eve evening. And yeah. it kind of, you can eat it when Drew But a lot, of people like, a lot of people have like their main Christmas meal is Christmas Eve. Yeah, Eve a lot, a lot of countries, really their main Christmas meal is Christmas Eve. Eve. Exactly. Yeah. So, so we don't, obviously, we do Christmas Day. Yeah. And because this is made on John's birthday, we're going to eat it on John's birthday. Well, there you go. Got to do it once, haven't we? Absolutely. So... Rice pudding, like what, we said. What did I get for my birthday? I don't know yet. No, because we're actually making this not on my birthday, but I just thought I'd find out. I, I, have, don't know. I haven't even got oh, a clue at this point. You get a card. I'm going to walk off, go behind the camera, I think. Do you need me? Uh, not really, no. It's quite a simple recipe to okay. start with. Actually, go so. behind the camera. Um, it is my birthday when you see this. So, let's get some heat going. So what we need is a hundred grams of short pudding rice. It has to be pudding rice. Don't try and use long grain or whatever because it's not the same thing at all. It's pudding rice. So in that goes hundred grams. It doesn't seem a lot. It doesn't, but they reckon it's served six. Well, I've, I've seen how many um, times that you've created a, not a good rice, rice disaster in this house with the amount of rice we create. In goes caster sugar, just 25 grams, yeah, hardly no sugar sweet. at all. 450 mils of whole milk. Two hundred and fifty mils of water. Yeah. So it says. So it says. What it says. This is not the way we would make a rice pudding, but in Scandinavia. And a pinch of salt. Just a pinch. Don't want it to be salty. Now, we stir it up and we bring it to a boil and then we're going to sort of simmer it for 30 to 40 minutes until the rice is lovely and plump and coated in a creamy sauce. So, let's crank up the heat a bit and get this up to a boil. If you need to add a little bit of extra milk or water, that's up to you. Yeah. Later, when it might cooking, a bit dry. If it gets a bit dry, you can add either a little bit more milk or a little bit more water, whichever suits you really. But, you know, let's give it a go at what it's got in the first place. 
once we've got it cooking away nicely and it's just turned down to a simmer then we can start going on our cherry sauce but initially we have to concentrate on the rice so we're going to come back and uh, we'll see you with the cherries absolutely so we are now stage two we're stage two correct we have moved the rice over to the hob yes yeah well, at the back here the normal one um you don't need to see that and we're doing this purely for what well, demonstration purposes really because we're gonna get this done now obviously you could do this tomorrow if you're doing Absolutely. this waiting for overnight we're doing the cherry bit we are so what do we do so into a small pan you put a whole tin of black cherries in syrup in syrup yep we just got these from Sainsbury's, I think. They're just yep. normal cherries and syrup. Nothing fancy. No, don't need the alcohol-based ones or anything. Yeah, no, no impies. So what you're going to do then is to that, you're going to add a tablespoon of caster sugar. Okay, we're using golden because that tells you what we've got, but caster sugar is caster sugar. In it goes. A tablespoon of lemon juice. Yep, we've got one out of a bottle, but you could use fresh if you want it. Makes no difference. Let's give that a little stir up. Okay. And then. And then you're going to add. Got this. This is your corn flour. Yeah. Yeah. So it's two teaspoons of corn flour with two teaspoons of water just, make a just little mixed paste. into a, a yeah, liquid, a paste basically and that goes in too and that makes your gloopy kind of syrup even more jammy I would think and that makes your jammy sauce, I say yeah. this is going to be a jammy sauce so the cherries then, give them a stir around you're going to bring them to the boil and then we're going to cook them for about 10 minutes or yeah, so. Yeah, we're going to simmer them and just let them reduce and go sticky, yeah. unctuous and jammy. Jammy was the right word. And then, by then, the, because I don't know if you can see at the moment. With a lot of liquid at the moment. Well, it's sort of cloudy. Yeah. But as it cooks, that cloudiness will clear and it will become like a thick syrup around your cherries, which is what you want. So what you want. So. So, let's just. Whack up the heat a bit and bring it to the boil. Anything else to say? No, we need to keep keeping our eye on the rice though and giving that a stir occasionally. Yep, so we'll come back. Okay, so our cherries have been cooking for a good 10 minutes now and the sauce is reduced down. It's still a little bit runny, but it's much thicker than it was. So we're going to turn this off now and let it cool, bearing in mind that when you serve it with your rice pudding, you need to reheat it so that it's warm. So the chances are that it's going to thicken on cooling and when you reheat it, it's likely to um, reduce down a little bit more. So don't reduce it too much the first time because you need to reheat it so that it's warm. So that is done now we're going to set it to one side until we're ready to serve so how's the rice pudding going the rice pudding is doing brilliantly in fact it's almost nearly there if i bring this back forward if you want to come and get a close-up of this john if you can see that's really thickening up now so our timer says about another six minutes six minutes or so so it's certainly getting there isn't it? it is getting there so i'm going to keep my eye on it now so that it doesn't dry out completely it may mean that i do add a little bit more liquid if i do add liquid i will be adding milk i will not be adding water because this is joel's birthday and you know he's entitled to a lovely stick did, did we happen to mention it's my birthday? We did mention it's your birthday. What we should do is put this on two weeks before my birthday and then everyone can send me presents. <laughs> You're such a bad boy. I know. Got to love a rice pudding though, come on. Fancy having a rice pudding like specially made on your birthday. Oh, that's good. That's amazing. I don't think you can get anything made on my birthday. I'll have a think. We'll wait for your birthday to turn up. But this is, um, I have to say, it's thickening up and it looks lovely and scrumptious. 
but maybe it's just me and I'm a bit picky, but I don't see that there's six portions in that dish. Well, they're probably little small dishes, pretty dishes, right. not, not like a big bowl of rice pudding. Okay. So that'll be fine. It's just you, quite often when you've done rice or you've done basmati rice or whatever, you'll go, John, I made a bit of a mistake with the amount of rice and we've got this huge saucepan full of rice. Well, I never measure it because no. when I measure it, it looks so measly. It's I a, think that's not right. It's a bit like spaghetti when you think, well, that's not enough spaghetti. Let's put another yeah. handful in. Yeah, um, but it's looking very good. So um, what anything else to do now? Just literally got to cool this no, down afterwards. Once this is cooked, it needs to cool completely and then go into the fridge and you need to leave it for a good like two hours or so. Well, yeah, they're saying let it cool, then put it in the fridge to chill. Put it yeah. in a big bowl. We're gonna put it we're gonna put it in a huge bowl, actually. We've got a big one of our big mixing bowls. Yeah. Um so that can cool it down quicker. And then, and then we're gonna put it in a bowl that will fit in the fridge. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, ideally leave it overnight is what they'll say. But yeah minimum of two to four hours and we will get a good two hours out of this before we have our tea because yeah, this yeah is we're doing this for food. demonstration purposes and we want to finish this video tonight so i can edit it and uh, i can eat it well yeah i hope there'll be a bit left for tomorrow to do it again absolutely yeah. four portions you might get out of them. yeah i think four would be good four would be nice but i think six might be a bit measly yeah maybe they don't eat very much in scandinavia maybe they don't yeah. Maybe, maybe they have a massive meal first off. Well, they do. It is, it is a big Christmas dinner coming. And thing. then you just have and all those kind of stuff. Yeah. Duck and potatoes and things. So. Right. We're going to go. We'll see you in a little while when this is pretty much done, I would think. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the final step with the uh, rice pudding is to whip up your cream. So you need to put your cream in a bowl. You need to add to it a tablespoon of icing sugar. We're using golden, but you can use whatever you want. In that goes. A teaspoon of vanilla extract or paste. This is paste, as you can see, it's a bit thicker. and a quarter of a teaspoon of almond extract. Yeah, I think that's quite potent. Quite, yeah, well, you're going to put almonds in it anyway, so you don't really want to turn it into more of the paddy kind of That is very bit. strong. Yeah, just a little bit. You're not keen on almond too much, so just put it in. There we go. Okay. And then, you're going to whisk your cream until it's light, fluffy and peaking. And not butter. No, don't whisk don't over whisk, whisk or you will have butter. So let me do that bit love for you. If you could, because you've got big strong muscly arms. Well you told you that, but that's good enough for me. Right, so we're gonna come back when we've uh, plated all this up or should I say dished it all up and show what it looks like. Right then, everybody, this is go on. Resilimon. Very good. Resilimon. There we go. We'll do it again. Do you want the Vimo version? Resilimon. 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 Danish, Scandinavian, cherry, rice pudding with almonds. Yes. Perfect. So what do we do at the finish? Because we're just doing this now. Right. So the last bit of the putting it together is you whip up the cream as you saw us do with the vanilla and everything in it. And then you chop your almonds. Yes, we do. We put some in, not too much. Yeah. And then, so you put chopped almonds into the rice pudding, and then you fold through the cream mixture. The ideal is that you keep one almond completely whole. Yep. And you chop the rest, and the person that gets the whole almond gets a prize. Yeah, a bit like, bit like the old uh, silver sixpence in a Christmas pudding, pudding sort of thing. A bit like that, but with a rice pudding. Yep. Looks so, very good. Yeah, it looks lovely. Give it a try, I think, is the best thing to do. Bear with it. Mm. That really works for your cherries, doesn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. And the cherries aren't too sweet. No, nothing's too sweet, no. that's the thing. 
you'll be chewing for a while because it's quite a lot of nuts in it. And I actually cut them back from back where you're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. But the ripe one's really nice. A little bit of bite in the rice still. Yeah. Um, so we started off with 100 grams of pudding yeah, rice. we did. And the recipe is to serve six. So... Well, we've done two. Quite a sizable one and a smaller one because you never eat as much as me anyway. No. So we'll call that two. But the, We've got loads of cream left. How yeah. How do on the pudding? That's a rice. The rice... I would say you could get six out of it, but you would have six small portions. Yeah. But then after you've had a big meal, you wouldn't want it. You wouldn't want a big portion anyway, would you? I love the idea of, of the cherries with it, with the kind of cherry syrup. Mm. So we initially warmed this up, and it went a bit too hot. And I thought if we did it too hot, it would melt the cream out of it. Yeah. So we let it cool down a bit again. So kind of have it. I say lukewarm. Yeah, lukewarm. Very nice. Very nice, very nice indeed. So, happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, my sweetheart. There you go. Have you had a nice day? Oh, I've had a very nice, been quite tiring. Yeah. Well, we've been doing lots of recipes today. We have been. Um, but when my actual birthday happens, because we, we won't be watching and we've already done it, um, we'll probably have it again, I think. Yeah. And that'll be a bit more relaxing day. No, it won't, because I'm going around all the shop getting all the Christmas food, aren't I? Yeah, I'm afraid we start all the orders. our Christmas orders tonight. It's tradition for us to, well, for me on my birthday, to actually drive around to the shops and pick up all the stuff we've ordered for Christmas. Mm -hmm. It's what I do, it's what I love. So, thanks very much for watching, everybody. Before you go, remember, tomorrow is Christmas Eve. I know you'll be very busy and everything, so we're going to do a very short little video tomorrow uh, where we're going to do a prize giveaway. Yep. Okay? So make sure you watch that and the, the draw will take place probably about a week later, probably I mean, the first or something, but we'll do the giveaway tomorrow. Yeah. Well, we haven't worked out what the prize is yet, but we'll think of something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it'll be worth it. It'll always be worth it with our channel. So once again, thanks very much for watching. Have a great Christmas, everybody. And um, we'll see you over, over the bridge, over yeah. the whatever. See you on the other side. On the other side, that's the one. Bye for now. Bye. I put my party hat on now. Yeah. <laughs>